In the previous video, we talked about how to create and import your avatar into Unity. And now let's take it a step further and also optimize your avatar in Unity so you can yeah, just make get the best performance out of your game as well. This video is sponsored by Ready Player Me. Ready Player Me is a cross-game avatar platform for any digital experience. The avatars are used in over 7,000 applications already, including VR Chat, Medium VR, Live, and many others. And the mission is to have more more open and connected digital experiences where you can create your avatar once and use it across all of these applications. Let's get started and first of all talk about the different parameters that you have for configuring the avatar. So we talk about four of these. Number one, level of details or LODs. So Ready Play Me gives you the opportunity to create three different uh, LOD types of your avatar, high, medium, low, which means that high has the full poly count and the texture amount that's the highest quality but it takes the most of the performance then medium is reducing the poly count by 25 percent and then low by further 25 percent and that means that if you have a limited amount of performance let's say you have like hundreds of hundreds of avatars in the web for example then you want to go with the lower setting or if they are further away for example you don't see all these details anyways because the difference is very 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 small actually then you also want to go for a lower lod as well so for example if we take a closer look at these buttons we see that there is a small difference of course like the higher one the buttons just look a bit rounder and the lower you go they kind of look like more like uh, polygons and like more edgy but again if you are further away you don't see the difference too much really number two this is the texture size of your overall avatar which you can set between 10 24 so 1024 and as a highest as the maximum and then 256 as a minimum. So here you see a direct comparison of the 1024 times 1024 and the 256 times 256. And you'll see here as well, the difference is not too big really, but uh, there is still a clear difference in quality, especially around the clothes that you are wearing. Number three, texture atlasing. So you can save a lot of computational power by enabling texture atlasing. So you can put all of the draw calls and the um, meshes basically in as one which means that instead of having nine draw calls and um, eight materials you only have one draw call one mesh one material because it's all put together in one atlas and that also saves a ton of performance as well and number four which is the morph target or blend shapes which is basically like if you have the facial animations like how much you smile and everything which can also really blow up the performance this is also something that you can set inside of unity which we will now check out so here i am back in unity if you don't know how to get your avatar into unity in the first place then definitely check out this video here there we explain everything Thing. but now let's check out how we can get our config files so let's just go back to assets and then let's just create a folder folder and we just call it um, config files the name doesn't really matter like it doesn't also have to be in a folder really but i just like to have things clean and then in here we can go right click and then create ready player me and avatar configuration and now this is a default configuration let's just call this avatar config high and then we can set all the high settings and then we can later compare the high medium and low one so here is high lod the pose doesn't really matter texture atlas let's just have it as high and then uh, let's keep it as a maximum and yeah that's already fine because we don't need to set all of these things now what we can do is we can just uh, let me just have it as a list i like that one more and now we can duplicate it by hitting ctrl and d setting this one to medium medium set the medium sizes over here so this one medium and then let's just go 512 and there we go and now let's go a low one so we go with low here as well and then here 256 and also rename it so now we have our high medium and l low oh i think i yeah like perfect high low medium um config files and now i will show you how you can also enable them in your project so first of all what, one thing that i want to do i want to get a different avatar with the um suit basically so we can see the buttons now let me just go and paste it in here load avatar into current scene 
So that will take my different outfit much smoother, I would say. And now if you want to change the LOD, you go avatar uh, ready play me and then settings. And in here you can drag and drop one of these. So let's just take the high one, for example. I think the high one's a default one. So I think that should not change anything really. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same. But now if you go a lot closer and there we go. And now if I go to low and I drag this one in, we should see some changes load and ah there we go okay now we see a clear difference so maybe we went <laughs> overboard with these settings but you definitely can see a big difference in the quality and then of course also performance now just for the sake of it let's also go to medium there we go and load it and here we have the medium one as well all right let me go back to high because i like the high fidelity the most and then let's also see how we can do the same thing during runtime so while your application is playing how can you change it for example when you click a button or when you want to change something so that will be happening via scripting uh, that will take a bit of time to load but let's already create our script uh, we go to assets and then c sharp script there we go and then we can just call it a dynamic loading or something like this and now i will see you in visual studio so here we are in visual studio first of all let's just get off get rid of these things and we need to import the um, ready player me sdk ready player me avatar loader so there we go and now just some initial setup so before we go into the start uh, we will need our avatar url so serialize field private string and then avatar url that is fine and now we need a couple of um, objects to basically um, set up everything so avatar object loader which is a class that we get from the ready player me api over here um, object loader there we go and then we need two config files you can try out uh, avatar config and let's just take high and low to have the comparison so uh, config high for example and then the same avatar config we call this config low so these are the variables that we will need for the start and now we can also do some initialization so first of all we want to get the object loader equals new avatar object loader there we go and now we want to set up our two avatar configs so our config high equals and then it says scriptable object dot create instance so this is the equivalent of what we did previously in the unity editor avatar config there we go and now we can do the same thing so copy uh, control c control v and now we do the same for low there we go let's now create two methods public methods that we will use to um, have a button click that loads the high config and the low config so let me just clean up this mess and then uh, public void load high config there we go and uh, we can have the same or oh, let me actually just write it already so config high dot and then we can set all the variables we did on unity as well so which means mesh lod equals and then mesh lod dot high which is the enum we can choose so we have high medium low over here and then the couple of other things so the texture size limit and uh, let me just do this one first avatar con no config high i mean dot and then texture size limit equals 10 24 so now we are basically just doing manually the same things we did or via code doing the same things we did in the unity editor and now we want to load the um uh, model as well so avatar config equals avatar config high so we can already um that was a thing that we did previously in the settings basically and now we want to actually load it so object loader loader dot load avatar and then we can paste our avatar url and there we go so just a manual process of all the things we already did in unity 
but again you can get really creative and really fancy you can like have if else things over here um like you can check the distance this is just like a super super simple example how we can do the same thing via code but of course in code you have a lot more flexibility as well and now we can do the same for the load low config and now just the equivalent low and 256 low i hope i don't mess any uh, 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 we want to set these of course also correctly always these copy paste mistakes uh, object loader and i think the rest is fine so now low config um config low is low config low is this one and then of course you can set up all of the other things as well but uh, for testing this is totally fine now object loader uh yep and yeah so that should be working now so let's hit save and go back to unity and here we can close this one let me just copy that because i will need it in a second and now we can create a new object so let's just call this avatar loader and in here we can paste our script and paste the url as well and now of course we want to have some some something to test so we can create a little ui with two buttons oh there's even like a ready play me ui where is the button oh yeah here text mesh pro so that's um gonna take two minutes to install now with text mesh pro installed we can add a couple of buttons so i think two buttons is totally fine let me just uh, make this a little bit bigger so there we go we can call this one high and increase the size a bit button hi we don't have to get too fancy here so this is button low and we can call this one low and now we want to call these two functions basically so where is it on click here we want to paste our avatar loader and then dynamic loading and then load high config and let me just double check button high and then button low gets the low config there we go and now let's get rid of our uh, models over here so we actually see that they are dynamically being loaded and everything let's hit play and hope everything works out uh, let me just put the game view on this side so we have the high one hopefully that will load the avatar in a second yep there we go uh, i don't know where it is uh, let me just ah yeah there we go here we have the high avatar Let's just move him to a to the other side so we can kind of like see okay this looks pretty high fidelity i would say and now we can do the same for low and now we have the low fidelity one and you can already see okay there is some differences i mean there are some clearly visible differences in the uh, quality and also if we click here we see we can also like basically check it in the stats as well but that is something i would leave to you now as a homework for example and yeah that is how you get the dynamic loading for the avatar configuration so what would be an example where you would really need this case the biggest example really or the biggest use case is multiplayer games where you have a lot of avatars and uh, possibly not a lot of performance because it could be on any device it could be on the phone it could be with a low internet connection with a bad internet connection all of these cases would be one example and there's also a nice example from ready play me itself that we can check out so let's just go to where is the package manager there we go and then in here let's just see we have some samples more and here we have the avatar loader avatar lod i mean there we go let's open up the lod scene just to check it uh, here they have the same thing as well like here high medium low and now let's check out the example hit play and now we can uh, move the slider and you now we see lod one so that is the high quality one. Oh, that is the high quality one reduce texture and even further reduce texture i mean like here you don't need to have all these details right because you don't see the little details anyways and this is for example a very nice use case of how and why to use the uh, configuration files these um, scriptable objects over here this is it for the video if you have any questions then please leave them in the comments below 
Thank you so much for listening. Thank you Ready Player Me for sponsoring this video. It's amazing to work with you guys. It's uh, really cool. It's an amazing product. Great collaboration. Thanks so much for listening. And as always, I see you in the next one.